Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Dr. Donna, and it is time for 52. Week four, we want more. Week four, we want more. Yeah. Why would I read Pimping Can? It's a book. I read all sorts of books. Last week, I got flack from people. How could you read such a terrible book? He's such a terrible man. How could you do something like this? Dr. Donna, oh, uh, just on and on and on. Why, why, why would you read such a book? Hmm. Perhaps it's because I'm from Detroit. I'm from Glendale between 12th and 14th with the big streets being Linwood and Woodrow Wilson. Google it, you can check it out. I'm from the hood. I saw pimps growing up. I came from that environment. I wanted to read it because so many people didn't want me to read it. If you wanna know about a social path, do you ask the same person or do you go interview social paths? If you wanna know about the life of a drug dealer, a kingpin, do you go and ask school teachers? Of course not. You go to the source. I am the type of person and I want to form my own opinions based upon facts. And if I can go and get it from the horse's mouth, why wouldn't I? I don't condone pimping, but I also don't condone putting a bunch of group of people into one box and labeling them. Why? Because that's what people have done to me. I am a black woman. I am a single parent. I am from the hood and I am skinny and I am non-denominational religious and all these other things that people have decided that I am. But the good news is I know who I am and I get to choose whether I want to jump in and out of those boxes that people keep putting me in those labels that they want to put across my face. I wanted to give Ken Ivey the benefit of allowing me to be able to read this book and find out from his perspective why he chose to be a pimp and why he chose to leave the life. It's really just that simple. And if you have a problem with that ideology, then have a problem with it. Otherwise, let's keep it moving, find out what I thought about the book, and let's move on. Is that cool? The thing that I did not know about Pimping Ken was that his daddy, Johnny Slick, was also a man of the streets. When you come from that environment and everybody is a hustler and a pimp and a dope man and you driving fat rides, you got on mean coats and diamond rings, it's kind of hard to come home and say, hey son, make sure you go to school and do a good job. I don't know too many other pimps that are still out and about. What I do know is I went to Pimpin' Ken's Instagram page and there is a video of him talking to his daughter, talking to his son, and his son is enrolled in college and is going into audio TV production. I don't know how many other pimps have success rates like this, not quite sure, but I think we just need to understand that people transition and how you start is not how you finish. The goal is to become a citizen that's giving back and contributing to society. Definitely, I would recommend reading this book because there are some valid principles in there. As you know from my previous challenges, I've read about Attila the Hun and Napoleon and other people that people may not necessarily be a fan of. But I believe that you can learn from anybody. I believe that you can learn what to do and what not to do. And when you have the information, you can make it a more informed decision. Gather the facts and gather the data. Anytime someone tells me something, well, you know, this person did this, and when they were a kid, they did that. Oh my goodness. All I do is go and research the facts to the best of my ability. And if there are books out there, of course I'm going to consume that information because I want to make the best choice possible for myself. In summary, I am by no means condoning peddling flesh. And even in the last chapter, Pimpin' Ken says the same thing. That is not what the 48 laws of the game are about. There are other lessons in there, and I'm not going to spoil it for you because I would like for you to read the book and make your own decision. But I do suggest that you read the book, whether you're on the pro side of Pimpin' or the con side of Pimpin'. I 
had two choices growing up. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I am from the hood and I saw everything from Young Boys Incorporated to other things that I care not to mention. Through it all, I had to make a choice. For me, I had a mother who insisted that my sister and I go to college. Yet everything around us really didn't support that. But since I was five years old, she said, you going to college, you going to college. You and your sister are going to college. It's hard to do when you walk out and see those streets and everybody else is doing something else. While I was a great student, there was this other side of me. And her name is Dee Dee from the D. What up though? I had choices at every fork in the road. And sometimes Dee Dee from the D took over and sometimes Dr. Donna took over. It's an interesting story and an interesting path. And I'd just like to give you a preview of what would have happened either way. What I will say is that life is about choices. I'm Dr. Donna. I'm Dee Dee from the D. I don't give nobody my government name. What? Instead of carrying a bat, now I carry books. I carry whatever the fuck I want to carry. I believe that the best way to resolve conflict is to actually have a conversation about it at the lowest form of energy and negativity as possible. I solve problems however they need to be solved. It's just that simple. I now know that walking away is so much better than standing your breath. Sometimes you just have to do like Teddy Pendergrass say, I think I better let it go, let it go. I ain't walking away from nobody. Don't start none. Ain't nothing but air and opportunity. People kill me talking about walk away. Ain't nobody got time to walk away. You fucking come up to me, you gonna get got. That's how it goes. Walk away, you shouldn't have stepped to me. Motherfucker, walk away. What the fuck I look like walking away? I don't walk away from shit, but victories. Walk away. Get the fuck out of here. Don't walk up to me. Then it ain't gonna be shit to walk away from. I had two roads to travel down, and I chose the path of Dr. Donna Thomas Rogers. But if I had to chose the path of Dee Dee from the D, I really wonder how many of you would be judging me. People kill me talking about something wrong with Detroit. Ain't shit wrong with Detroit. I love my city. 313 all day, every day. Anybody got a problem with it? Come see me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. But before I get out of here, just remember, if it's possible for me, then it's possible for you. Watch what we can do in 52. I'll see you guys next week. Adios.